members of the broad alliance against sanctions have been camped outside the U.S. embassy calling for the removal of sanctions against Zimbabwe. We take a look at their daily life. They explain the reasons behind their action. They took us on a tour inside the tent that they've been calling home for the past five years. This is where the men are staying. This reporter was also taken on a tour inside the tent that is being used by women staying at the camp. Right. Okay. Right. Responding to a question regards their toilet facilities, pretty said. Chile Apo. Shataka Badaru, no wish. She no shift. But it's also a cheddish on Chatan and each of you go on them, no one. All right. Pretty added that uh, the Doma community was sustaining their livelihood at the camp. Long time, Papa. My uncle David had to know Papa to be the new one. Okay. 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 Iyo ire api, tega api wa wona wawisha, akati power akati murku yenda kutele tukupi, angwe gati kawo, ano ya chini shifta, achi chini, angwe tupa upati kugeza shi seta ito iti na papa ndo matoto kugeze, mfurati no chera uku, kuchi ningiri kino kondo kuna nokura tiza, no chera mfura. The donated mobile toilet is used by both men and women. Okay. We were then taken to the stream that is used by the anti-sanctions protesters for their water source. Yeah. 
On food, the protesters also depend on handouts of the donation. She, however, disclosed that lately very few people were coming through with donations. Despite these challenges, Priti said the anti protesters will remain camped at the US Embassy in Harare until the sanctions were removed.